I was I was like sweating all night long. Really? Just like sitting in bed, like no sheets, windows open. Yeah. I'm dying. <laughs> I think this is what death looks like. I don't know why that's funny, but. <laughs> What do you think? Pretty good. It's pretty good. What do people talk about in vlogs? I don't know. I don't know either. We're having coffee. It's a beautiful day. Are we still getting your hair cut? My hair? Yeah. My stubble. Yeah, I thought you were getting your hair cut before Probably. the wedding. I just want to get it shaved, like clean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. That's a haircut. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> so, leaving that cafe, my car didn't start, which is classic, classic wedding day kind of shit, um, but luckily, our savior, Chris, Christ, is here, so. Nathan's on vlogging duty today as well. Yeah, I don't really know how to do it, so. We shot together. Uh, I put the GoPro on top of the camera and shot a whole bunch of video. I'm gonna cut together a really good video for that that you guys can see. But now let's jump into the changes I made with my gear setup. I'm super excited about it. Let's have a look. So it's all changed. Uh, just out of nowhere, I decided to change things up with my gear situation because I've been feeling really bored lately and um, I wanted to change. And I feel like I found the perfect kit for me at least. Uh, and I feel like it would work for a whole bunch of photographers. A lot of people ask me all the time about um, which lens combo would be the best for weddings and things like that. Close that because it looks terrible. But I think I found the ultimate combo for like weddings, portraits, family shoots, all that sort of stuff. So, disclaimer, this is just, it is really what's perfect for me. Uh, it's not going to work for everybody and it's not the cheapest kit around but um, you know, I wanted to make a video about it, so here we go. Just out of the blue, I went into Auckland Camera Center to buy something else, and I found this new low, po low pro backpack. So, here it is. Um, it's called Low Pro Freeline BP350. So, it's like a medium sized backpack, um, and it's made out of really nice, durable material. It's just, it's really not that large, which is great. Um, and it doesn't weigh much with all the stuff I've got in it. So in this backpack I've got everything I need to shoot a wedding just in here. So let's have a look just straight off the bat at the gear. So in terms of cameras and lenses, let's have a look what I've got in here so you can see. You ready? Bam. So the first lens, see if I pull the right one out. Yep, you've seen it a million times, the 24mm 1.4 G Master on an A7R3. That's important. That's an important factor. It's got to be on an A7R3. I'll tell you why in a minute. The next one is another A7R3 but the 85mm G Master 1.4. So I've got a 24mm and an 85mm both 1.4s both on A7R3s. Now you could get away with like an A7 III or an A9 even with the uh, 85 but Hear me out. So, 24mm 1.4. With this A7R3, I can put it in crop mode, have about 19, 18 megapixels, and it's like a 37mm 1.4, or depth of field wise, it'll be like uh, 2.1 or something. But the point is, I get a 37mm lens with plenty of resolution, more than I need for what I'm doing. It's all in one combo. So, yeah, two lenses and one camera, and I never have to change lens now. So I've got a 24mm and 85mm, I can just ride those two cameras all day and not have to worry about changing lenses or anything like that, which I'm really stoked about. And I programmed here, if you have a look at this, I've programmed the C2 button to crop mode. So if I take the lens cap off, be a good start. So right now I'm in 24mm. 
I press the button and then BAM I get a 35 mil just like that see that how cool is that so that basically means that um, like I said I have in the 85 mil I can do the same thing and that turns it into like a 135 mil 140 mil now I done some tests with the Sigma 35 one four and the 24 mil in crop mode so about 37 mil and they look really really similar um, even depth of field wise you can't really see a big difference which I was surprised about and I've printed photos at that resolution that crop mode resolution so usually when I deliver photos to clients they get 5,000 pixels on the long edge at 300 dpi which uh, is massive you know you can print huge from that you really don't need 42 megapixels four lenses into two it's just great and I'm really stoked with it I can't wait to shoot this weekend I've got a wedding up in Matacana on Saturday and then I'm flying down to Queenstown on Sunday morning for another wedding and having both G Master lenses they just they do focus better than the Sigma lenses so I'm really happy with that also but uh, yeah man I'm super stoked with that 24mm 1.4 uh, at 42 megapixels or like I said put it in crop mode you've got a 37mm uh, 1.4 at about 18 megapixels which is just plenty and then an 85mm which you can convert into like a 140mm I mean see because I was shooting 24 and 50 and I found that the 50 I was using in crop mode a lot because it's just, I, I feel personally, and a lot of people disagree with me, but I feel personally that 50 is just kind of in the middle of nowhere. I either want 24 or 35, or I want to go all the way to 85. In between that is not really somewhere where I sit a lot. I just found 85 for ceremonies and those, when I want that compression for those portraits, I feel like 85 is better, where, you know, usually I'm just writing 24 or 35. So when I can have that, and these lenses are both optically amazing, so really happy with that and uh, it all fits in this tiny bag so I'll get back to the bag and I've got one other lens that I'm using so they just sit in there and then there's some dividers down here and here I've just got some headphones but that's not really important and this comes with it so this just slides out and this has got batteries and stuff like that in there so I'll close that up I'm filming all this on the RX100 Mark V by the way just so you guys can see my full kit and in here I've got my flash with the trigger and I've got my 18mm Batiste so this lens is used for like dance floor um, like some epic scenery shots, venue establishing shots and maybe the odd dress shot, I use like the wide lens with that um, and then in here you've got a couple of other pockets which are pretty cool and then in the back here I can also fit a 15 inch MacBook which is great because that's what I have and I can uh, take that on the plane with me and then in here, I don't have much in there. Oh, there's my wallet. I was looking for that. <laughs> um, in here, you can have, you know, all your cleaning stuff and batteries. There's quite a bit of room in there. Um, just anything you want to put in there. And let's see, I don't know why I didn't think of this before. Um, I feel like we get a little bit stuck in the whole resolution race and feeling like you need 42 megapixels, which is just not true. And the other thing is I found with the 24mm, when it's in crop mode, the images are really really sharp corner to corner even at 1.4 because you're only really getting the best part of the lens you're only getting that center um, area of it so yeah quick update for you guys um, I'll see you tomorrow